Black holes have long been regarded as enigmatic and ominous cosmic entities. Even today, they remain nearly immeasurable using conventional physical methods. However, they do reveal their presence through two distinct clues, their immense gravitational influence due to their staggering mass and their subtle radiation emissions. This radiation possesses unique characteristics, and in this video, we will explore its nature and the remarkable laboratory efforts made by scientists to artificially replicate it. But before we delve into that, we invite you to engage with our channel. Share your personal thoughts in the comments section below, and if you're a subscriber, you'll receive a heart, and we'll pin your insightful comments to the top. Just ensure you've already subscribed, liked the video, and mentioned both at the start of your comments. Now let's delve into the intriguing radiance emanating from black holes and an experiment that holds the potential to revolutionize our understanding of them. What goes in and what comes out. Black holes have earned their reputation as cosmic vacuum cleaners and ultimate destroyers. At the hearts of most galaxies, astronomers have identified the presence of massive, supermassive black holes. These central behemoths gradually consume entire star systems over millions and billions of years. Some theories about the future of our universe propose that eventually only one or a few colossal black holes will remain. When these cosmic devourers have ingested the last remnants of matter from space-time, the universe will come to a standstill. Theoretically, these last, or perhaps the very last, black holes will contain all the information of creation. It's entirely possible that these black holes may collapse, giving birth to a new universe, or the stagnation of creation could persist indefinitely. However, today's focus isn't on the fate of black holes or the universe, but rather on what enters a black hole, or more intriguingly, what emanates from these cosmic giants. In theory, nothing should escape a black hole, as researchers have long assumed. Once something plunges into a black hole, it should never re-emerge, and no information should ever escape. However, the late physicist Stephen Hawking challenged these assumptions, and scientists are now diligently pursuing the enigmatic glow that appears at the edge of black holes. The Hawking Radiation Black holes are surrounded by a critical point, a threshold beyond which any matter crossing it is irreversibly drawn into the black hole's gravitational grip ultimately disintegrating until only information remains. Information holds a unique status in the realm of science. It cannot be created or destroyed, implying that it must persist within the black hole in some form. Whether this information can escape the confines of the black hole and find its way into another world, time or dimension, remains an unanswered question for researchers. Stephen Hawking made a groundbreaking observation regarding black holes that suggests information continues to emanate from them even within our universe, albeit in an extremely subtle manner. At the event horizon of a black hole, a remarkable quantum fluctuation occurs. In the realm of physics, the concept of nothing essentially doesn't exist. Even in seemingly empty space, particles and antiparticles constantly materialize, briefly exist, neutralize each other, and vanish. However, at the event horizon, a fascinating divergence occurs. One of these particles is drawn into the black hole, while the other escapes into space. The particles that escape into space generate a minimal form of radiation, named after Hawking, who postulated this groundbreaking discovery in 1975. Although the theory has been sound and supported by mathematical models, the actual existence of this radiation has remained unverified. Black holes are simply too distant, and their radiation is exceedingly faint. However, Recent developments raise profound questions about the fate of these two particles. 
black holes in the lab and beyond. From the realm of quantum mechanics, we understand that particles and their corresponding antiparticles remain perpetually entangled or interconnected. The particle that ventures into the black hole maintains an unbroken connection on both the quantum and informational levels with its counterpart, which escapes as hawking radiation into space. This entanglement implies that the freely traveling particle contains the same informational content as the particle trapped within the black hole. In theory, by deciphering or observing the informational code of a particle originating from the event horizon, we could potentially gain insights into the inner workings of a black hole. This prospect is undeniably exciting, but in practice, we are still far from being able to extract or decode the complete informational content from these minuscule particles. Moreover, we have not yet been able to measure Hawking radiation as mentioned earlier, or at least we couldn't, until recently. This is because scientists are now capable of creating black holes in controlled laboratory settings. These experiments don't provoke significant concerns in the scientific community because, at present, no one can predict the changes in the space-time structure that could lead to the formation of minuscule black holes. For safety reasons, these experiments employ highly simplified models. Researchers in Amsterdam, however, have devised a method to safely replicate the event horizon and fundamental characteristics of a black hole in a laboratory environment. To simulate the miniature event horizon, they constructed a chain of simple atoms that effectively mimicked the barrier's effects. By manipulating the connections between these atoms, scientists recreated cosmic phenomena to the point where the enigmatic radiation suddenly materialized. Initially, researchers induced electrons to transition from one atomic site to the next within this one-dimensional chain of atoms. These electron jumps corresponded to particles crossing the barrier at the event horizon. By adjusting the links between the atoms, scientists could make these particle jumps more or less challenging. Through this process, the artificial event horizon facilitated a series of experiments, yielding intriguing results. In a highly specific state, thermal radiation spontaneously emerged along the atomic chain. In simpler terms, this indicates the presence of heat or oscillation. However, this radiation only manifested when the atomic chain extended beyond the artificial event horizon. If the chain terminated at the barrier, the radiation ceased. In essence, one could say that this radiation occurred only when the particle that crossed the event horizon remained entangled with its counterpart flying into space. Consequently, it is the interaction between these two particles that gives rise to Hawking radiation. According to the Dutch researchers, this substantiates the correctness of Hawking's theory. The outcomes of these captivating experiments not only confirm the accuracy of Hawking's ideas and the existence of emissions from black holes, but also raise intriguing new inquiries. Given that these particles serve as carriers of information and essentially act as a direct link into the interior of a black hole, we must contemplate what implications this information might have in our material cosmos, encompassing known space-time. It is conceivable to envision a form of communication between a black hole and a particle traversing the cosmos. Undoubtedly, you may already have questions brewing in your mind, which we invite you to share with us in the comments. However, before diving into those questions, let's explore another facet of Hawking radiation that could have profound cosmic repercussions. How black holes shape the universe's fate. The experiments have also revealed that not all black holes emit radiation at the same rate. Black holes, due to their immense mass, alter the curvature of space-time, similar to planets or stars. They reside within the cosmic fabric of space-time, creating significant warps. 
The more a black hole curves spacetime, the less radiation emanates from its event horizon. Conversely, smaller and lighter black holes exert a correspondingly lesser influence on spacetime curvature and emit more radiation, thus disseminating more information. In the realm of physics, this emission of information essentially implies that black holes experience minimal but continuous mass loss due to Hawking radiation. Consequently, black holes are not eternal and indestructible entities. They lose mass over billions of years, ultimately vanishing. Let's revisit the scenario of the universe's end once more. At the outset of this video, we mentioned the hypothesis that at the universe's conclusion, a massive black hole might have absorbed all matter. However, now that we understand that black holes always emit at least a small amount of information, the concept of the universe's ultimate demise takes on a different perspective. If even a tiny bit of information escapes into space, it has the potential to give rise to matter. Of course, we do not yet comprehend how a supermassive mega black hole, the last remaining entity in the cosmos, would behave in such a scenario. It is conceivable that, at a certain size and information density within the black hole, Hawking radiation could also cease. Hence, it's possible that black holes, at least in part, function as recycling mechanisms rather than solely destructive monoliths. This notion casts an entirely new light on the profound questions regarding the origin of creation, the genesis of matter, and the evolutionary trajectory of our cosmos. You may already be familiar with cosmological models suggesting that the universe did not originate from a single point and will not culminate in a definitive endpoint. Instead, it posits our universe as an ongoing system that perpetually creates and sustains itself from within. The role of information exchange at the boundaries of black holes in this framework remains a topic for the future. Certainly, as time progresses, researchers will develop more advanced methods to simulate black holes in more intricate ways with enhanced safety measures. Simultaneously, our technological capacity to directly study black holes in the cosmos is bound to improve. Perhaps one day, we will unlock the grand secret of what transpires within these cosmic giants. Until then, we eagerly await your thoughts and ideas. We welcome all insightful, inspiring, and scientifically pertinent comments related to this topic. Please remember to mention your subscription status if you're a subscriber and to express your appreciation for the video by liking it. We're delighted you joined us today for this exhilarating discussion and we look forward to your return to Cosmos Prodigy soon.